Greetings from the Jazz Cloud, I'm Richie Zellin and I want to welcome you to another lesson on the Jazz Guitar Channel. Today I am excited to teach you a solo guitar arrangement of my favorite holiday season song, the Christmas song, also known as Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. And this has got to be the jazziest Christmas song of them all. And it's no wonder because it was written by Mel Torme in conjunction with Robert Wells. The harmony is just gorgeous. So let me play it next and then I'll proceed to teach it to you. What a beautiful tune. By the way, if you want more jazzy Christmas arrangements, I will put a couple of links at the end of this video, as well as in the info section down below. I'm also placing links to each part of this tutorial in the info section down below, so you can easily jump to any spot. Next, I'm going to teach you the arrangement in four measure segments. But before I do, I want to invite you to download the special study package I've prepared to make it easier for you to learn and practice and so you can follow along. It features a PDF with regular notation and detailed tab, a total of nine pages. Also, I'm including an audio MP3 of the arrangement and a custom band in a box file for those of you who have the software. And all of this is available for download from my website, jazzguitar.richiezellen.com for a very nominal contribution. So, will you buy me a cup of coffee this holiday season? <laughs> Either way, thank you in advance. 
So a little disclaimer here. If you're following along with the PDF and you uh, go back and then look at the performance I did earlier of the arrangement, you'll notice that I did a few things differently. I uh, varied the rhythms, maybe a few notes here and there. I just want you to know that this is jazz and me personally, every time I play this, I'll play it slightly different um, because that's how I feel it at that moment. And I want to encourage you to do the same. So now that I got that out of the way, let's get started here. And for the sake of um, teaching you the arrangement, I'm going to try to stick as closely as possible to what's written on the uh, PDF. So the intro, uh, four measures, it repeats twice. Let me play it slowly one time. And it goes like this. one more time. So the A section measures five through eight. We go up here and as you've noticed I uh, combine a lot of open strings with the fretted notes in different positions to enable me to play some voicings that otherwise would not be possible. Okay so try to take advantage of this and you'll learn a lot of new, very interesting, one-of-a-kind chords that you can play. Let's proceed to measures 9 through 12. 2, 3, 4. Okay, measures 13 through 16. Three, four. Measure seventeen through twenty. Two, three, four. Okay, and measures 21 through 31 are identical to measures 5 through 15, so I'm not going to play that again. And instead I'm going to continue from measure 32. And I'm going to go from 32 to 36. And here we end the section with this uh, E flat 7 sus 4. And it goes like this 2, 3, 4. to the B section measures 37 through 40 the bridge 3 4 measures 41 through 44. So, 
three, four. a little word about this A major 7 sharp 11 chord. You can play it using four fingers, but I choose to play it barring with my middle finger on the third and fourth strings. I've gotten used to doing that for two reasons. Sometimes it's hard to stretch with some chords and you know, get all the fingers in there so that each note rings properly. And other times, it allows me to grab the chord faster, you know, because I'm only using three fingers, so. Which is easier than. So measures 45 through 48, 3, 4, measures 49 through 52, 2, 3, 4, section. Is there an obstetrician in the house? <laughs> this is very similar to the A section, only that the first chord here, instead of being the E major 7, is a B flat minor 7 flat 5. So, 2, 3, 4... Measures 57 through 63 are identical to measures 9 through 15 of uh, the A section, so I'm not going to play those. Instead, I'm going to go to measure 64, which includes the tag to end the tune, and I'm going to play six measures here, uh, starting with this E flat 7 sus 4, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and we're ready for the very ending, and I'm going to play measures 70 through 74, and here we start to retard it, do a retardando, slow it down, you know, and it goes like this, one, two, three, four. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and if you decide to learn this arrangement, I truly hope it will fill your holiday season with joy and happiness. And be sure to check out my other jazzy Christmas arrangements. As usual, I appreciate your comments and welcome any questions you may have. Also, if this is your first time on a jazz guitar channel, 
and you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell icon. Look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Felices Fiestas, and peace be with you.